I got into visual arts when my mom got diagnosed with cancer in fifth grade. From the beginning, it was her suffering in cancer and we would dye our hair together before we would shave her head. And that's what got us into a deep connection with one another. People would gift her boxes full of craft supplies and me and her would make art at home when she got out of the hospital and at the hospital to distract herself and myself from the pain that she was in. If I didn't have art to get me through life, I honestly don't think I would be alive right now. Whenever I create art, I'm creating it for a purpose of getting sh stress and anxiety and sadness off my chest so I can see it in my art. And it turns out so beautiful in my art that it's almost like it's not even a negative inside of me. So when I create mental awareness art, I create something that I can understand with a deeper meaning because it means something to me, specifically because I'm getting my feelings out. But then when people see it that are suffering with the same things as I am, they can look at it and feel like they have a place where they fit in. So some of the pieces I'm working on at GSA are in painting and drawing, I am doing a piece of my friends that I've met here standing around me, pointing at me in the middle and laughing at me. Because at home, back where I'm from, you almost feel like you're being laughed at and watched all the time. And like, you don't really fit in anywhere, especially being the creative artsy person that I am. And then in printmaking, I'm doing a piece of a heart hanging over a brain and they're connected with a stem and there's flowers coming out of the heart but not the brain and it shows how uh, my heart takes so much play into everything I do and I always think with my heart before I think with my brain. And playing off of that class, in sculpture class, I'm making a heart hanging underneath a cloud and the cloud is raining nails and it shows how I almost stab myself in the back because I always think with my heart instead of my brain. The type of people I wanna to connect to my art and get a reaction out of are the people that feel like they're trapped inside of their own body almost. The people that are really hard-minded and don't want to open up to other people, I want to show them that it's okay to be vulnerable and that art can have a different side than just creating art to hang up on a wall. My main goal is to teach other people how to do art and express themselves like I've used it to do myself. And so now my two little cousins, Tinley and Adley, they have cancer now and I teach them how to paint and distract themselves with crafts and such to keep their brain off the pain that they're enduring and as well as distract us and the family. They're only five and six one time, so why not boost their imagination and creativity while they can until they grow up older and over and they could have mental illnesses just like I do, but if I teach them that there's a way that they can get that out, then they will use that later on in life. Something that I would say to people and artists that are struggling with mental illnesses is to not stop. You cannot fall into your own pain. I know it's very easy and I have done it as well, but there are other ways to go about your pain than just wallowing in it. You have to lift yourself up and create a way for you to get that pain out onto paper. Even if you're writing it or if you're drawing it and creating an art piece, you have to get it out of your chest or tell to somebody so that you can get it off of you and you can continue your life in a healthy manner.